Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I am making quick and easy corned beef cabbage. So my name is Kristen and every Monday I share an Instant Pot recipe with you guys, mostly to make the Instant Pot less intimidating and more likely for you guys to use it. So you guys have been asking for corned beef and cabbage, so I thought I would make it for you. So if you guys are ready, let's get cooking. All right, so this recipe is super simple and super basic and it, it tastes amazing. My husband couldn't believe how good it actually tasted. So let's get into it. So usually you take your corned beef, you have about two to four pounds. I usually like to do two pounds because that feeds my family six easily. So, but this one is four pounds, which is fine. We're just gonna cook it all in the Instant Pot. So I'm gonna put it in and because it is so big, we're just gonna stick it right on top of each other. There we go. Now you can get corned beef at like Kroger. We got this one at, at Smith's or Kroger. Um, I've also found it at Costco and sometimes at Walmart around St. Patrick's Day. All right, so once corned beef's in, now we're gonna put in about a cup of carrots. You can use chopped carrots or you can just use the baby carrots if you'd like. Um, next we're gonna do an onion. So I just cut it into four chunks, just making it easy. It's more for like seasoning than anything else. Then we have about a fourth cup of parsley that I chopped up. We'll just put that right on top. Now, usually corned beef comes with some seasoning and it's my favorite. So I always put in the little package of seasoning that comes with it and just sprinkle it over everything. Then on top, we're gonna just do two bay leaves. Now, if you put these in, remember to take them out when your food is done cooking. Okay, now we're just gonna add about three cups of liquid at the bottom of the pot. And that's really how easy it is. So we're gonna put the lid on. Gonna put the lid on. <laughs> Make sure this little knob is on sealing, not venting. So then you're gonna push the pressure cook button or if you have a different Instant Pot, it could be manual also. Then we're gonna go up to about 90 minutes. Now I know that seems like a lot, but this meat is pretty um, tough, so you wanna make sure it gets really tender. So we're gonna cook it for 90 minutes. All right, so once that is set and the timer is set, you can just walk away and we'll come back in about an hour and a half. All right, so once it's all done cooking, we're gonna turn the little knob to venting to let all of the steam and pressure out. Once the pressure's out, you can open up your lid. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So right now we're gonna add a cabbage. So I got a whole cabbage and literally just chopped it into four chunks. So we're just gonna put this in here and then we're gonna close it up and cook it for a few more minutes. Now, if you don't like cabbage, you don't have to do this part. It will still taste amazing, but the cabbage is just a fun thing to add and those that love it, it tastes good. All right, so you're gonna put your lid back on. Make sure your little knob is turned to sealing. And then you're gonna push the pressure cooker manual button again. We're gonna go down to just three minutes. We just need to get that cabbage nice and cooked and it just only needs about three minutes to cook. Once the timer's done, you're gonna turn the knob again to venting, let all the steam out and you can open up your lid. And your cabbage should be cooked just perfectly so it's nice and tender. But the thing that I want the most is the corned beef. So we're just gonna Carefully pull that out. Oh, this is falling apart. <laughs> All right, one, two, three. Nice, now if you could see this. We left a little bit of the fat on. You can take that off before you cook it, but I was just trying to go as quick and easy as I could, so I left my fat on and I'll just cut it off as I'm doing it. All right, I just wanna show you just how juicy and tender this is. We're just gonna cut it up. It just is falling apart. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, so if you've never had corned beef, I highly suggest giving it a try. Mm. Now, if you want more easy and simple instant pot recipes, make sure you check out these right here. They're perfect for dinner time. And I will see you guys next Monday.